Hey guys, welcome back to Insomnia Extreme. For this year's Mermaid, I am doing Mermaids Inspired by the Elements, and for today's video, I bring you Earth. First thing I did was block down my brows. I just used the glue stick method and a little bit of color correcting concealer as well as a foundation color matching my skin tone. This isn't an entirely necessary step. I just seem to like making all my mermaids have no brows. They did last year when I did four new mermaids and I kind of just carried it on to this year. I think it's like one extra element that makes them a little less human looking and I just love that simple effect. For the skin tone base for my Earth Mermaid, I decided to use a lime green color. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so I could build up all the dark shades on top and this way I thought it would probably contrast the best with the wig I was planning to use at the end so it kind of seemed easier to start light and work up from there. Then taking a dark green eyeshadow I started using this to contour all the different areas of my face, neck, and chest. I started with my forehead because I knew how I wanted to add the scales later I would need to darken the areas I actually wanted to apply them. So I intended to darken this later on with more body paint and black eyeshadow but this at least started giving me the base idea of where they were going to go. And then I did my usual favorite go-to's for contouring which is a little bit around the top part of the nose, around the bottom to give it a little bit more definition, just under the lips. And then also started doing the sides of the cheek. For this one, I wanted to do kind of gill contouring. I did this originally with my Dark Mermaid years ago, and I've loved it ever since as a fun little like hint to mermaid roots. So I essentially did the same kind of contouring I did on the neck for my Fire Mermaid, but did this along my cheekbones to help better define the face and also give a little bit more of an aquatic feel to the way the shading works. Then of course just carried the shading as well onto the neck and down onto the chest. I was just following my natural musculature or bone structure around the collarbone area. You can usually find this by just moving your shoulders or neck in different positions to help it kind of pop forward. And then I also added a bit more of the shadow to the center of my chest because I knew that's where the second area for the scales was going to be later on. For the eyeshadow, I was just moving from lighter to darker tones of green. A lime color, an emerald green, and then a dark green. And with the dark green at the edges, I kind of just pulled it out in different wispy patterns. I wanted this to give a bit more of an organic feel, maybe referencing branches. It kind of looked like scales, which it all just worked, but admittedly I was just having fun with pulling the brush out and seeing what pattern it made. I kind of had a similar idea for the eyeliner. I usually do the very sharp wings and I thought it'd be kind of fun to make it almost like a squiggly branch wing for my eyes. And then I just added lashes on the top and bottom because I wanted this mermaid to be very extra apparently. And then taking a dark green face paint, I just used this to add some different organic shaped dots around the eye. I say organic shape because I wasn't going for perfect circles, I was just kind of going for like little squiggly patterns. The purpose of this mainly being just to add a little bit more visual interest, but the other advantage you get from it is that if you maybe haven't covered your brows that well, putting something like this over top of the area will distract the eye and make the illusion more convincing. And finally for the scales, I did darken the area with some black eyeshadow, and then taking the scale pattern from Plaid FX, I just used the exact same lime face paint that I used as my whole base originally and applied this all over. That way when you pull away the dark spots get left as the outlines and the actual scales are a lot lighter. I then of course repeated this step for the area on my chest. One thing I didn't show but it does happen later, I actually did extend it more into a diamond shape later on. It's kind of an upside down triangle when I do it the first round but that's just something I kind of added in at the very end because I thought the shape wasn't as flattering. From here I went back and better defined all the areas I already laid down some of the darker green shadow. I just wanted to make them a little bit more pronounced and add a little bit more depth so for this I took some matte black eyeshadow, went along the gill contours by redefining the line and then blending downwards softly. And then I also took a bit of a fluffier brush and just a little bit of black shadow right on the edge of it and just like lightly applied it to all the areas that I wanted to darken. So around the eyes, the neck, stuff like that. But I was just trying to deepen the green as opposed to make it stark black. For the shoulders, I once again wanted to incorporate something that was a little bit inspired by tropical fish, kind of the aquatic element that exists across all of my mermaids, even though they're inspired by the different elements. So for this, I was again looking at the patterning on different type of fish. I really love the organic shapes and lines that often exist on the sides of a lot of tropical fish especially, but I also wanted to keep it in theme with the earth tone. So for this, I was using a light brown and just applying it with a relatively rounded, bigger brush. This allowed me to just let the brush do most of the work, kind of just adding in these squiggly lines and filling them in in different ways so that it kind of all flowed together as well as adding some smaller ones to help it fade out, so to speak, towards the center of my chest and just letting it, you know, do its thing. And then while this step is a little tedious as I often, I guess, have in a lot of my makeup looks, but this one makes a big difference as you can see comparatively to the other side. 
All I did was take a darker brown body paint, went along the edges, and then before they dried, I was switching brushes to a dry brush and blending out that edge so that it kind of naturally faded inwards. This created that nice little extra edging and shadow to give it more depth, as well as it kind of created a bit of a branch texture when there was kind of streaky marks that I just embraced. I actually liked the little texture it made, so it kind of helped in the theme of Earth anyways. But if you needed to be really soft, you could always also blend out with an eyeshadow if you wanted to. With that done, it was time to better define the scale areas. The pattern really helped make this so much easier, but I still wanted to make them a little bit better defined. So I went in with a dark green eyeshadow and added it to the edges where the scales would overlap. And then I kind of used this to also hint at other scales leading outwards to kind of fade it off better. So it was just a stark patch. And this is also where I carried it into more of that diamond shape on the chest area. Repeated this on the forehead. And then I also took a shimmer pigment and started adding this to all of the edges of the scales. The main reason for this, one, because obviously shiny mermaid scales is just fun, but it also helps kind of sell that illusion that they would be overlapping each other, so the very edges of them would be slightly lifted and they would be catching light. And then there's always the added bonus that when you move, it's just fun to see the light reflect. Took this time to throw on the wig, the very extra wig, and my very overdone headpiece. The fins are meant to look like branches with like almost webbing between them. And then I sculpted and glued all the pieces that go around the top as well. And the last step was to do the lips. And for this, I find the cosmic metals sometimes can be a little bit patchy. So I'd like to put a base coat. So I did a gray liquid lip first, and then I followed with the green cosmic metals lipstick. I found this combination gave a nice green lip for the finishing touches on my Earth Mermaid. And that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the second mermaid in my element series. Air is going to be next. And once May is over, I'm going to be going back and doing some new DIYs for all of the mermaid fins I made for this series. When I was doing them, it was very trial and error and didn't really know what I was doing. But now it'd be much easier to go back and make a proper tutorial for you guys. So I will be working on that for you, if that's interesting at all. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.